Hello everyone. I'm Peter Towers, Managing Director of ESS BizTools. Welcome to this session for our members, where we're going to look at survival in difficult times. This is part of our review into the Business Advisory Services Starter Package, previously known as our bronze package. Everything that's within the starter package is also contained within the gold and silver packages. We've just started at the starter package to work through. Because the starter package is very suitable for a lot of the smaller accountants who are now looking to take up the challenge that ComBank has really laid down from the Accountants Market Pulse report in May, when they indicated that all but 5% of accountancy firms, literally the ones they surveyed, are going to be implementing diversified services over the next few years. And in the next 12 to 18 months, they clearly identified business advisory services as the top pick of services that accountancy firms are going to be providing to their clients. So our subscribers, our members are in the best possible position. Some of you have had access to our material for quite some time, a couple for over 20 years. And we thank you for that support but there's really a challenge now to make sure that you people are right at the, uh, the top of the uh, firms around Australia who are implementing business advisory services with their clients. If you have any questions uh, during the webinar, can you please type your question into the computer, into chat? and send it through to me. I'll have a look every so often. And if I see a question or a comment, I will uh, uh, make uh, a response to you at that stage. But if you're watching this video at a later time, that suits you better, or you're using it within staff training or whatever, and you have any questions, please send me an email, peter at essbistools.com.au. Just a reminder, this webinar is part of our weekly series for our members to give you a update on what's included within the starter package. And as I said earlier, please remember that everything we're discussing today is also included within the gold and silver packages. So it's got a far wider application than just to our starter or bronze uh, members that we have at present. We haven't got any questions, so I'm going to move on and uh, we'll get started. So thank you for being with us. Survival in difficult times. There's always difficult times somewhere in Australia, I've discovered. I originally wrote uh, the original material uh, some years ago in response to a cyclone, I think in Western Australia, and which had caused a lot of problems and was creating very difficult times for SMEs. And obviously in the last 19 months, we've had COVID-19, which has uh, caused all sorts of problems to businesses in every state and territory. And now it has come back to be causing problems in New South Wales, Victoria, South Australia. And there's a lot of problems in Queensland because of lack of tourists, international and domestic. And those same issues are probably occurring in other parts of Australia, Western Australia, Tasmania. So there's some very difficult times around, but also difficult times can be caused by natural disasters, floods, bushfires, cyclones, all cause immense problems and really bring into the question, how do businesses survive during difficult times? 
But I've also discovered uh, over that eight year intervening period, there's problems in particular industries from time to time. And some of our subscribers have told me that they use this package then with those clients within a particular industry. Now, in lots of ways, the industries tend to be more localized in various parts of the country, but that might be another thought. If you have a problem with local industries or a group of people within a particular industry, this product package might assist you. And obviously location problems. And location problems can be caused by things like drought, uh, excessive rain, and just the turn off in market conditions. Maybe the uh, market's not buying the, the products that are produced in a certain area. So there's a wide uh, range of uh, problems that can cause difficult times all over Australia. And I suspect that these problems are potentially there every year. And for that reason, we made this a uh, major product within ESS BizTools, Survival in Difficult Times. So if you haven't had a look at it, I hope you will be able to do so after this uh, discussion today. So what's our approach to being able to give you some material that you can use to uh, uh, enable uh, this type of service to be uh, offered to your uh, clients? There's a workbook uh, in 38 separate sections that uh, raise a whole series of questions for you to consider. And there's the workbook will help stimulate discussion with your clients. And that's what it's designed to do, to provoke some serious questions, to suggest that the team might have another look at a particular process and encourage ideas. And once you get ideas, of course, you then get some debate and encourage some input and suggestions as to what could be done about a particular problem, whether it's debtors days outstanding, whether it's gross profit percentage has not been as high as was expected, whether it's the charge out rates not being determined appropriately with all the factors taken into account. We have a paper which we've called Surviving in Difficult Times for SMEs, that there are links to the paper from the questionnaires. So in that way, you're able to work from the workbook, which is where the questionnaires are. And if you need to get some suggestions for a client as to how they should respond to a particular issue, Hopefully some answers are supplied to you. That's our intention anyhow, to supply you some answers that you can then communicate to your client as they work to develop strategies. And I think the end result of this uh, whole exercise is to prepare an updated summary document. You might not want to call it a business plan, but a, uh, a document which summarizes the key issues and the strategies uh, that have already been agreed upon, or perhaps they just listed as ideas or segments of the business that need further attention so that they can then be uh, looked at. There's also links to other papers and forms within ESS Pistols to give you that additional bit of information to make available to your clients. And a consolidated report is prepared from what is entered into the workbook, which is where the questionnaires are located. So I hope that gives you a, an overview of what we're trying to achieve, to trying to show you. So I'm now going to go onto the material and um, bring it up and we will see where we go from there. So I'm going onto the website 
So we now have the website for ESS BIS tools. Remember the individual products are summarized in this left-hand column. Survival in difficult times is being grouped under group product packages. If you're a gold subscriber or silver subscriber, you will be able to access this by just clicking on gold package. So up here, you would have clicked on gold or silver and you will have um, received survival in difficult times. And there it is there. Or you could go um, to uh, here and click on it as part of the um, group product packages, if that's what you've subscribed to. So I'm going to go over here and click on get content. And what we have now is a summary of what's included within survival in difficult times. There's some notes about various aspects that are included. And what we need to do is to download the content. Now I'm going to now download the workbook. And on the workbook now, you should be able to see the business evaluation. I'm just getting everything. There's a set of instructions, which I'd suggest you read before you start using this product so that you can follow what we have in mind for you to work through. You can click on the index. The index has got a complete list of the various material. I'll just go back to the beginning there. The various material included in the package. And the system will prepare a report. And here's the breakdown of the report whereby various material will be summarized in it, whether it's banks review, benchmarking review, cash flow, cost review, etc. So if we start with banks and lenders, I'll just try to straighten these up for you. You have a summary of material, and I'll just check that you're receiving that. So the banks and lenders review is on your screen now. It's, it's asking a series of questions, which you can get the client's answers. Some of our subscribers have actually made this available to their clients and had them partly complete it. That's a good idea. If your clients got people there, it can do that. But in most cases, I suspect you're going to have to do this with your client. So factor that into your proposal, of course. And I'm just showing you now so you get an overview of how this system works. So here's a question, do you want to look at the debtors days outstanding calculator? So if we say yes, and here's the debtors days outstanding calculator that's now come up on the screen. You can input the various figures. So if we know the annual sales, obviously put that in. And there's just a bit of a guidance chart there based on what the average payment days are and what the annual credit sales are, what the outstanding debtors are going to be at any stage. If you 
got 2.2 million in sales. And uh, after 60 days, if your debtors are averaging 60 days, you're going to have 361,000 in debtors. That's a lot of money to have tied up. You can clear the workbook at any time. So just by hitting there. And um, we might want to go to the debtors management area. So there's some notes on the debtors management. So this is back within the paper that you can read about that. But this is where you're finding su suggestions that you might like to bring to your client's attention. And once you've read that and decided which, if any, of that material you're specifically going to make available to your client, you, could, you would then hit back to debtors review and the system has taken you back to where you were. If we have a look at exporters now, There's a series of questions there which are primarily targeting whether your client is claiming the export market development grant if they are exporting. And if we wanted to have a look at the paper, we would click on exporters. and go down to the exporters whereby we have then got some commentary on things like export exchange contracts, currency movements, export financing, as well as the export market development grant. We look at wastage. As an issue, we are back on the workbook it's got all the questions. If you want to add to that with the client, you can click on wastage defects and reworks where you've got more material there. Commentary on the five S's, sort, set in order, shine, standard, sustain. I went to a workshop last week and a um, full presentation was made on lean management, which is what wastage and um, the 5S theory is all linked to. And we'll be preparing some additional material, but wastage defects and reworks are a huge cost to SME businesses. In fact, they're probably a huge cost to every type of business. So I would urge you to make sure your clients are familiar and then we have shrinkage. Shrinkage is a huge cost, especially for retailers. And we have some systems which help determine how you're going to um, calculate that figure and, and make sure that's brought to management's attention because it gets lost in the system a bit. But um, we have some suggestions as to how it can be calculated and you uh, should be using that, I think, to help your, uh, help your clients have a better understanding. And part of that is theft, pilferage and fraud. And we have some material on that that you can utilize with your clients. So we'll go back first of all to uh, wastage review. We're now back in wastage review. We had a look at shrinkage while we were in that other area. Work in progress is another area that is a huge cost for a lot of businesses, tradie businesses, but also professional businesses, of course. 
you can click on to the article to get a better um, overview. And it's linked to a paper that you can link on to and get the material. So in the first instance, we've got the workbook, which has got the questions. You can then link to the this supplementary article, which has got more detailed information for each of the items within the workbook. And then you can link onto individual papers that are already within the ESS pistol system to uh, receive additional information. You might look at suppliers. What percentage of suppliers are outside of Australia? What guarantees? All sorts of questions. <clears throat> and then you can click on to additional information that you could share with your clients. You can then click on to a paper which we have in the general body of ESS BIS tools within sections and papers. That one, of course, is on suppliers. So that's how the system works. And what it does is give you the opportunity of conducting a due diligence review on a client. You might like to use some of this material in conjunction with the health of a business analysis, which is also included within the product packages to get a um, better outlook of what's happening within a particular business so that you can, having conducted this diagnosis, be able to give your prescription to the client as to what should be done to uh, fix up the problems that they uh, might have highlighted from this review. I really trust that this will help you. I'm now going to go back to the um, PowerPoint slide. So we've gone to the website. Our next me members webinar in this series is on predictive accounting. Now this is <clears throat> budgets, cash flow forecasts, and projected balance sheets. We have entered into a joint venture with Plain Guru, a USA company that over the last 10 years has significantly upgraded its three-in-one financial forecast software and is now available in 52 countries. Our little group includes Paul Barnaby, a fellow of the Institute of Chartered Accountants, formerly the senior partner of a second tier firm in New Zealand, and ourselves. So this package will assist you to be able to develop budgets and cash flow forecasts and projected balance sheets for your clients. In fact, you can have up to 10 clients on the system for the initial subscription. This compares to only three clients that you can have in any other of the Playing Guru system installations. So that webinar, I think you'll find it has been very interesting, is on Monday, the 2nd of August at 12 noon AEST. We're running another one of these business advisory services implementation training webinars. This one's for SME Debtor Systems Manual. It's been presented on Wednesday, the 4th of August. And we have another one looking at the characteristics of a well-run business. I think that's very important to look at those characteristics and try to assist all of your clients to implement all those characteristics that are, are applicable to their business. So that's on Tuesday, the 10th of August. And then we have the retail pricing calculator, how you align the product mixes and markups to earn targeted profits. It's a big problem in retailing. And the package which we've developed, which was originally based on some 
research that Andrew Geddes did at FMRC many years ago. And with Andrew's approval, we have modified the original work uh, to make it work on spreadsheets and um, hopefully to give you a service package that you can talk to your retail and wholesale clients. Because unfortunately, they can't all still sell star stock items, can they? They've also got some others. And it's knowing what the mixture is and what the markups they are. Because at the end of the day, the target should be that the business is going to sell enough goods over a range of uh, product packages to cover their wages, their overhead expenses, and earn a targeted profit. And that is difficult. So hopefully you will find some great value from that um, uh, webinar. Now to register, please go to our website, www.essbistools.com.au. Click on to webinars and um, then uh, find the webinar you wish to go to. You can go to the lot if you want to. Please click on and register for us. So thank you very much for your support of ESS Biz Tools. If you have any questions or comments, I'll just check again. No one's asking me that are here at present. Uh, no, they're not. If you have any questions uh, that you think about later on or when you get round to watching this video, please send me an email, peter at essbiztools.com.au. I hope that you're able to gainfully use the Survival in Difficult Times product package, because it will help you unearth a lot of issues, a lot of problems with your clients that might not be obvious at present. And hopefully some of the things you unearth, you'll be able to save your client going into very troubled water. And hopefully you can avoid that. So thank you very much for being with us. Thank you for your support. And um, for those of you who are located in areas that are subject to lockdowns, we are thinking of you. We hope it will not be for much longer. And I would urge everyone to urge your clients to make sure they get their two jabs. I had my second one yesterday. So um, I think, hope everyone can do that so that we can uh, get rid of the uh, problems that this virus is causing to us all, to our own businesses, to our clients, and to the country. Have a great day. Goodbye.